very easy to become overwhelmed sometimes with the sheer amount of different things that are going on in our lives or things that we actually want to accomplish. We have work and school commitments, we have things that we want to be able to do outside of those as well. Before we know it, we can feel a little bit overwhelmed, burnt out, feel like life is a bit out of control and it leads us to sometimes procrastinating and doing nothing at all and other times just sort of running around in a, in a, a haze of, of hecticness. So it's time to take back that control. One of the best ways you can do that is simply with some really good, simple time management techniques. And one of the best things you can do is write a weekly and daily planner. Now this can feel like it's something which is maybe a little bit of a hassle. And if you haven't got much time, it gives you even less time. But by planning ahead, it actually does the opposite. It gives you the gift of time. You're able to look ahead and see the things that you want to accomplish. Like what would your perfect day look like? What would your great week look like? And you're able to see how, with the time I've got, am I able to implement those things in? And put that into a plan. Because we all know that feeling. I would say, if you can get to know these two feelings really well, that feeling at the end of the day where you know you've not really accomplished an awful lot, and maybe you've leaned a little bit too heavily to doing things which aren't taking you really forward forwards in life. And we also know that feeling where you know you've put in a good day. You've earned your rest, you've earned your leisure time. And that's what you want to aim for. We have this great ability as human beings to be able to have a compelling vision of the future and what we want to do. Just by simply actually trying this technique of writing down, normally on a Sunday, what would you like your week to look like? And then you can break that down. You can write at the start of your day, write your daily plan. You don't need to be a slave to that plan, but it's a perfect guide because it's then just one decision you're making ahead of time of where you're going to put your focus and then you can implement it. So I would recommend have a little Google, Google time management, Google how to, how to create a schedule, a daily and a weekly schedule. And you'll be amazed to think of the results and how it actually gives you the gift of time.